Hi guys, Chico here from Rufus and Dupus, October 29th, 2014. I'm on my way to Palm Bay, which is not too far from where I live, about a half hour drive. Um, I found a, a nice, well I can't say nice, I found a motorhome. It's a 2000, and it's, uh, from what I understand, one owner, uh, older woman, um, uh, got two slides on it, which I'm very interested in, and here's why I'm going to look, it's uh, got 8,000 miles original on the engine, and I believe it's a Ford engine from what I was told, but the unit's been sitting for a year or two, um, because the woman let someone borrow it, they didn't take down the awning, the wind caught the awning, flipped up, and broke a vent, that's all I know at this point. And uh, she brought it to some place to get fixed. Apparently they weren't too reputable. They didn't do anything. Um, so some water got in the vent area. Now, normally the vents aren't located over anything critical. She said the only thing that got damaged was a closet near the shower. So, you know, I don't know what to think at this point. I'm thinking the worst. Um, but the fact that... Uh, if it's just the shower, and if the, or, no, I'm sorry, not the shower, but if it's just the closet, and there's no damage uh, spread from there, might be worth taking a look at. The other issue was she had something, a problem with the generator, and she's got no luck with mechanics, I'll tell you. So she brought it to this guy, the guy took the carburetor off and never repaired it. Now, you know, two uh, people in a row not doing their job, I'm wondering if maybe there was an issue with pain. Um, you never know, but I figured it'd be worth it to go out and take a look. I know I can get a carburetor online, I'm willing to take a chance on that. Um, if, if it's a young motorhome, such as it is, it shouldn't be too major of a problem. Now, if I can get it for the right price, She's got it listed a little high uh, because she says she still owes money on it. Well, you know, if she doesn't take an offer that's reasonable, it's not going to get any better sitting there. She hasn't used it in years. So I'm going to offer um, a lower amount, substantially lower amount, see what she says. I know for a fact that she's been offered 12000 um, and she was willing to take it. The buyer who offered it never showed up again. So I'm thinking maybe we go to 3000 lower than that and see what happens. Uh, unfortunately, she owes some money on it, but um, I don't know. That's, that's going to be an issue with the title. So it's going to be interesting, but I figured we'd go take a look. It's close enough. Uh, just to get an idea of what's out there and if we can resolve this title issue and if she takes a decent offer um, We may have a motorhome. Who knows? I mean two slides 33 foot I think she said it was but We don't know for sure yet So that's where I'm going and I'll give you an update when we get there. I'll uh, take some videos and show you what's out there and uh, Until then We'll see you wanted to add a note to that last clip that I just did there. Um, I was just thinking to myself, and I'm thinking to myself because there's nobody else here with me, um, that the title may not be an issue. I might have to finagle a little bit, but if I uh, make a deal and pay her, she will have enough money to pay off the remaining balance on the title. Now, what I'm going to have to do is make sure that we get that straighten out before I give her any money, so I would have to be with her uh, to pay off that title and get it free and clear, and then the remaining amount would be hers, depending on what we uh, uh, finalize the sale price at. That's assuming that I make an offer, it's all going to be dependent on what kind of shape it's in, but I think that'll straighten out that title, so it might not be uh, a big concern here very possible, depending on how much she owes on it, that I might be able to just offer whatever it is that's remaining on the balance of the loan and clear that up and take ownership of the, the home. She's 
84 years old. She hasn't used it in two years. Before that, she let somebody borrow it and messed it up on her. So, who knows? Um, I won't know until I get there, but that's my thoughts right now as I'm heading there. See you in a bit. I think I was honest guy, and he was going to take care of it for her. He never did, so. Yeah, you know, you get a lot of that. I finally got her to use her um, Good Sam's Club to get the guy to tow it here because it was sitting down there doing nothing. And the guy ended up running, taking off or something like that to run the uh, place. I don't know. But yeah. only seven, 8,000 original miles in it. Yeah, but you know. Um, the biggest thing is that water damage in the back. There's. Yeah. It's, it, it's this too. Yeah. yeah. I know. And the generator, the carburetor is almost like $900. Yeah. See, and, and I, I didn't get involved. I've been, I've been known Karen for a while, but we just started coming over here because her mom's getting elderly. So I'm kind of like the motivator, but, you know, you can only do so much. Yeah. And her mom just kept putting it off, and you know she still owes money on it. And you know mm -hmm. it's just like, what are you gonna do about that motor? Well, I finally got it from up there. I had the guy tow it here. Of course, it hasn't ran for a while. But then again, it's fuel injected. They say that shouldn't be a problem, but I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Well, it's fuel injection in one of these is no different than a fuel injection in a car. Yeah. So you know, bad gas will screw them up just as right. bad as. See, and I don't know how long the gas. Like I said he did. The tires are still inflated. Well, thank God. But that doesn't mean they're not dry rotted. But he did tow it here. Original, here. Are they original tires? Uh, probably, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But see, the biggest thing is that right above there, what was leaking caused all this. All this. And you can see, you can see that's one of the big problems right there. Oh, the yeah. Wetness, yeah. yeah. But now, that, that's just towels. I'm not attempting to try to take them out. That's a towel there, believe it or not. Yeah. That should be taken out. But I mean, I'm kind of, I'm not into mold, <laughs> you know, mold. <laughs> so I don't know how much. Oh, but that's boy. that's the thing Jeez. is that that vent right there did just ripped it right off. A lot of damage up there. Though. Yeah, and you know you know like I'm saying it's it's, it's not a bad motorhome. God, it's got look at it other than. Yeah, can I take a peek in here? Oh, I'm sorry, sure. Yeah, no, I'm just, oh, sure. Let me get out of your way. No, you're not my way. Okay. I'm just uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm I looking. I used it one time when it was running before she. Unfortunately, she lent it to somebody after I used it because we went to Disney World and we used it. It was nice, you know, and then unfortunately things sit and it might have been down there for a year and a half or two years and she I kept on saying what are you doing about the motorhome oh well, the guy's supposed to be fixing it's waiting for parts and yeah you know, the guy was a shyster he was screwing the guy he's worth a million five you know but let's hope she's a realist well she's hard she's hard she's a tough woman to deal with because she said I, I believe her payoff is about 13 right she wants 15 I yeah that's not happening happen. she's trying to get you know enough to pay it off and I said I don't know I would take what I get and run with it because well, you're going to sit here and pay, the, pay it off until it's, and then I'll take it and t take it up and get it. How much is it per pound when you take cars? You know, I was just, them? what's going to happen is it's it's going to be worth nothing. Yeah, I mean, we you might know. get $500 for a scrap. Maybe. Pack. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, like I said, it's up to her. I, I'm just being a realist, you know? thing is pretty rough but could be a lot worse too it depends what kind of deal can be made Ugh, depends wait I didn't even clean it the tires are dry rotted. Does have two slides. One in the dining room and one in the bedroom, which is nice.
thing is meant to be mounted in small areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does a nice job. It works great for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the brake lines are rusted all the way yeah, through. Yeah, I've not a clue. Like they, they said it could be the calibers could be locked up. You have no idea. You know, things should be froze up because I've seen it hasn't. All the guy did was the plane went down there because I had to put the tags on it. You know, the year went by in the tags, so I figured take it down there, keep it updated. Look at, a, talking, look at a look at a nest in here. Yeah, I was talking to the guy and he goes, the biggest problem we might have with trying to sell it is it's got low mileage. And everybody thinks, well, you know, most motor homes you got to drive them. I said, well, I don't know what to tell you, guy. I don't know. I said, you know, because. I guess they, they figure the more you drive, the better off because stuff sitting around all the time. Well, sitting around is not doing Sitting around good. is no good. Yeah. You know? Uh, that, that probably doesn't okay. work. Well, that was a complete waste of time. That motor home was in the worst shape. You got to remember, there's only 8,000 miles on it. I just, you know, saw it myself on a speedometer. Uh, but, wow, a 2,000 just left the rod. The woman that owns it, old lady, um, just, I mean, this thing hasn't been taken care of at all, at all, in a couple of years it hasn't even moved. It's just a mess. Even a dealer won't take it because there's so much work to be done on it. Um, there was a lot more wrong than what was in the ad, even after the phone call. But like I said, I had a kind of a feeling it was going to be that way, but it was close by, you know, 27 miles. So, round trip, 50 something. But uh, education. I mean, remember what we looked at yesterday, right? Well, I'll tell you what. What an awakening. I mean, this thing was a fix. They didn't, the mold that was in the closet that they were talking about, do you realize that the towels were still in there? Can you imagine that? They didn't even pull the towels out of the, that closet. Um, I took a little bit of video. The guy that I was talking to was very nice, um, real nice fella. But there's no way this woman's going to be able to sell that thing. She owes a ton of money on it, 15000 So there, there's no way that somebody can pick it up off her hands and, you know, take a, a shot. But I, when I say pick it up off her hands, I mean, like, for a couple hundred dollars, maximum $1,000 just get it out of her yard and maybe uh, scrap parts off of it or something. Might be able to get a few bucks for the engine, you know, 460 Ford, probably worth maybe a thousand dollars and then the refrigerator looked like it was in decent shape. You know, things like that, but I'm not into that crap. But wow, what a piece of junk. Junk with a capital J. Matter of fact, let's capitalize the whole world. Word, it was just pitiful. So, uh, that just wanted to let you guys know, and uh, hey, what an education I'm getting, you know, I mean, um, I've seen stuff out there advertised for 6000 that said, well, it needs a little work, and, you know, from the pictures, it looked like it needed a little work, but nothing like this, oh, oh, this thing, was, well, I don't want to bore you with it, but I'm going to say junk, again, junk, okay, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe give it a thumbs up if you're up to it. Okay. Take care, guys. Have a great day.